phone call for 50 Cent. He just did a deal with Pontiac. They got a new car coming out. It's called the G8. And he actually wants us to collaborate with him on customizing this new Pontiac G8 for him for SEMA this year. We're very excited to actually do this project with 50. And it actually gives us a good opportunity to show Pontiac on what we can do. You never know what to expect when you come to 50's crib. He's got all the Ferraris, he's got the Pontiacs, he's got a lot of stuff out here. This is crazy. We are here at Union Square. I am with Will Castro. I am Nadia and I'm with Big Old Belt. Super excited. Uh, how has your day been? It's been amazing. I mean, it's just uh, amazing just to see everybody that turned out for our event from my childhood friends from being raised and born and raised at Lower East Side, not too far from here. I used to play at the 10th Street uh, Little League, not too far from here. Uh, played softball in Chelsea. So just being here is so surreal. Uh, my family came out, supported uh, a lot of our clientele, uh, friends, so, so much support. And there's a lot of stuff going on in New York City this week. Oh yeah, you had Rock the Bells last night? Oh no, last night was uh, 50 of uh, Mass Appeal with Live Nation. Everybody was there last night. Everybody got out around like, I don't know, 1.32 in the morning. Nas turned it out. Fat Joe, everybody. Cameron, everyone came through. Uh, Snoop. So much love in the city. Um, Rock the Bells, I love, as you can see, we brought some, some cars to display. These are original. Uh, LL Cool J's original car that he had from his um, album cover. We got Salt and Pepper's car. Uh, Nas. Salt. And then we also uh, have uh, Nas's uh, 190E. So we brought some of the cars out here to show some of the culture of hip hop, how long we've been doing this for a long time. Uh, we got a lot of new things coming up. We got some new content. But today we uh, aired uh, some of the uh, older content that we had with, with 50, LeBron, and Diddy, which is we call that the Three Kings. So that was a really uh, great thing. And we have a part with Speed Vision, and they're actually our distribution company, so we're able to uh, put out our network through that. So you've been in this industry for a very long time. You started very young as a mechanic. What was your first car? Uh, my first car built um, actually was my own car, which was a uh, Buick Skyhawk. Uh, we worked on that for a long time, me and my family, and uh, that was my first car, and I knew that I had a passion for cars, because I knew I was going to be a great professional athlete, which I love to play baseball, but I was going to be a professional baseball player. So I, was able to start doing the Yankees car, so that was a dream come true. That's amazing. So you're a designer. Okay. Oh, we should pop in off in New York. <laughs> For real. So you're a designer. You're a host. You're also an author. Can you tell us about how a book came about? Um, yes, I always wanted to uh, come out with a, uh, you know, a memoir of my, my uh, some of my uh, life story. So I did. I came up with because uh, you know, in New York is a hustle. Oh, you know, the grind is hard. You know, you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. So over here, just being born and raised from New York, uh, you know, we, you know, I was born and raised in, in the Low East Side, in the projects, the Guardia projects, uh, uh, Madison, and um, you know, it's just been, a, it was a tough road. You know what I'm saying? But you know, my, my family, you know, was very supportive. Um, I had a passion for cars, and I wanted to just share that in a book book way because we've done so many TV shows. I have about all about, I don't know, over 80 episodes we produced. Um, I did everything from uh, producing, executive producing, uh, story writing, and then you know I said let's write a book. So we wrote a book, and obviously we had the uh, foreword was done by DJ Khaled, a good friend of ours. So you know I've been very fortunate and blessed to have the greatest clientele in the world. You know not only just hip hop but also athletes. And everyone. And you're in Miami now? Yeah, we have a shop. We have a, we have a store in Miami and we're also back in, in Long Island as well. So is the clientele um, pretty different out there? No, actually, no. A lot of them are New Yorkers as well. So, you know, it's, it's you know it's all music and sports related, but they know the brand worldwide because our customers really showcase our brand and, and, and they bring us together. Um, and we work and we collaborate very well together. So now we have a new store that we just opened up. It's in West Hempstead, Long Island. You should definitely come down here and see uh, Chico. Uh, he's been with me for over 25 years. Uh, we're going to be offering uh, paint protection, color correction, window filming, uh, and also uh, vinyl rap. So, you know, we have a lot of things going on this year. And top three uh, celebrity or, or athlete cars uh, that are your favorites? Um, I got to say, uh, Busta Rhymes, uh, Peppermint put his world now known when, when it was featured on MTV Cribs. So that became global. Uh, LeBron James, King James. And then, uh, 
the third one's tough, you know. Um, probably um, Swizz's tour bus. Because he gave me a, a, such a big budget to work on a big tour bus. So that was probably uh, also. And I, I can't, there's so many. Fat Joe, you know. I want that 50 car. That Pontiac was yeah, sick. 50. I mean, we've been really fortunate just to work with everyone in the industry. So it's really, I can't really name all of our clientele is family. And that's what we call it, unique family. And any other upcoming projects you could talk about? Um, yes. Um, we just finished up with Salt and Pepper's car from Salt. Uh, that was her original car that she bought in 85 from her first record deal. So um, that's a specialty that we just finished. The, uh, the nice. And yes, big reps to Puerto Rico in the house. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> you already know. We, can, we always rep the PR. So, um, you know, my brother Fat Tro, I don't worry, take it easy. I'm he hung over. At you. <laughs> You know, he night, yeah, he got home. At, no, he don't drink. But at 2 oh. in the morning, nah, he doesn't drink. At 2 okay. in the morning, um, he got in late. He really worked out in the crowd and, and really did a phenomenal, epic, uh, legendary performance at Yankee Stadium. And uh, I'm sure you're going to hear a lot about it this week. Yes, 50 years of hip hop. Let's go. Hip hop, absolutely. And 30 years for Unique Order Sports. I yes. appreciate everybody. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much. For oh, for sure. This was awesome. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thank you.